So how has the Dancing with the Stars experience been for you, Zosio, specifically since it's your first time? Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty amazing. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, at first, I was a bit, like, nervous. Just like, oh, my gosh, I don't know what this is going to be like. And then, of course, like, once you get to know everybody, it's it's like a family here. And just within the crew, you can really tell that, you know, some of them have been there since the very beginning. And that's how you really know that, like, not only is the production good, but, like, everyone just truly feels like a family. And it's pretty awesome to see that kind of connection, you know. It kind of reminds me of, you know, Marvel sets where you'll see that like some hair and makeup people have been in the business and doing the same, you know, thing for years and years. And you're like, wow, seems like everyone's a family here, you know? So I had those vibes and yeah, just Val, it's been pretty great, obviously. <laughs> nice. And Val, how has it, how has it been working with Zoe Shield? It, uh, it's been wonderful. She, you know, she's a great student, a great partner. Somebody that is very thoughtful and works hard and loves the experience. And she's seen the show. She's very excited to be a part of the show. And is now squeezing every ounce of this experience. Well, it's uh, so crazy. I actually, like, I really enjoyed the show. I used to watch it with my grandma all the time. And so it's funny to see, like, you know, certain people like Val and then Max and, like, Arda and seeing and Pita, like, seeing all these people that I've, like, watched on screen. Um, and kind of seeing them real life. It's it's almost like in my own way a little bit of like seeing a famous celebrity, but it's not a mm-hmm. like an actor. It's like a ballroom dancer, <laughs> which I think is funny. Totally, no, it makes total sense. And you, like you said, you have these core memories, right? So it's like mm-hmm. fulfillment, life fulfillment, right? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so, what has been the biggest challenge for you both as partners? Oh, his description of fun. <laughs> Our challenges change. We, yeah. we, you know, there's I mean, always surprises. Yeah, at first it was that, and then it was just getting injured. It's just like, why? It's just health. Health has been a challenge. But then, like that. um, that's it. I feel like there haven't been many challenges. And I like it that way. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. That's I mean, good. I think there's, uh, there's the obvious challenges of everyday work and showing up, and obviously it's hard. And Dog, I want to be here every day. But yeah, but those are challenges that you take on willingly. Then there are challenges like you know landing on your ankle, doing something else, or getting hurt, or you know other things that come up along the way as you create. You know th- this is a real collaboration in real time, a live two hours of live television. Uh, and so you're collaborating with departments along the way. Things happen, things change. You know, these are challenges that have come up that, you know, are underneath the surface that you never, never really get to see. Um, our packages before the dance try to expose some of the process, but you really, you really don't get to see a lot of it. So, um, yeah, there's always challenges. Makes sense. So who do you both feel? I want to hear from both of you. Who do you feel is your biggest competition in in, in the current competition. <laughs> Referring to the previous question, all those challenges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I think we're competing with just the fact that we're in season 32. Uh, you've seen every single version of every single possible dance. Uh, and so we're, the challenge for us is to try to do find things. our own little lane, you know, to do things that haven't been done. Take risks. To wear things, to showcase music or styles or cultures that otherwise would have never arrived on this dance floor. And so that's the challenge. It's like, how, how does this dance not just separate us from the competition this season, uh, but ultimately just this the show in general. All of it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So tonight's Whitney night. Are y'all Whitney Houston fans? Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. I mean, that's the only right answer. So <laughs> yeah. Well, she's she also no. a fashion writer. Hmm? Fashion picture? icon. Cute little jacket, you know. I think it would. She right. she used to wear jackets. Oh yeah, she would. She was an incredible human being. Um, so I I am looking forward to seeing y'all dance tonight to some Whitney. Um, how how are you feeling about the dance off though? Yeah, it's kind of weird. 
not gonna lie, you know, because literally a week ago, Sherry and I were on the same team. And so it's like, you know, changing perspective of rooting for each other and supporting one another and being at rehearsal and being like goofing around about whatever dumb dance move that we were both like freaking out over to like now having to be like, okay, I'm a see you out there on the dance floor. <laughs> you know, it's like a different mindset, but it's fun, you know, at the same time, because it's like all playful and fun. We Everyone really likes one another. So it's not necessarily like mean competition, but like fun competition. That's good. I'm glad to hear that because you, it, it, I imagine it makes you feel more relaxed even going into the yeah, like so you know, one on one. Like you know, say a little bit of like trash talk, but it's not yeah. really that's like real. And you know, no matter what, it's just really fun to be out there dancing alongside her. Like I just think that's really mm -hmm. fun. It reminds me of just like events and stuff where I'd like kind of hang out with my friends and dance. It's just we're being compared to one another. <laughs> that's not about you know, business. <laughs> Yeah, that's on them. That's not on y'all. That's on them. <laughs> Wait, what is what is ballroom dance trash talk sound like? I'm very curious. It's the same trash talk just with a British accent. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I like that. She, I like that. I'm a it was the what was it? The cha cha. I'm on. Cha cha, cha, -cha challenge accepted. That is an excellent dad joke. I <laughs> like Good old pun. We love a pun here. Um, that's gonna. I'm gonna use that later. Um, so, your partnership has been really fun to watch, and I really enjoyed. I'm excited. Like I said earlier, I'm excited to watch y'all tonight. Um, how? Uh, this is my last question, and it's for Sochi. How do you? How does the physicality here compare to the Marvel physicality? Like. How does it compare? What's harder? What's easier? It's just different. It's very different. Um, you know, because with Marvel, I had martial arts background, you know, so that helped me and that got me through a lot of it. And I didn't necessarily feel like there were things I hadn't seen before. You know, I mostly felt pretty comfortable in that space. And here it's like, I don't really know dance. Like, I don't know how to dance. I just kind of goof around and it's about it, you know? So coming into this, I was just like, okay, I can only learn as much as I can via the show, you know? Because each week you have to watch the pro dancer explain the first like basic steps, you know? So that's kind of basically all my knowledge was watching the show and just knowing that. And so that's the only difference is that I didn't, know too much going into it which makes sense left me very depending on this guy <laughs> oh but there's That's a physicality there. about it. i've done i've done things on tv where whether it's choreography i actually had to choreograph a tango scene in which a there's like a little fight scene that um, happens and you know a, a phone is being exchanged etc and that was really cool because you, you get to, I mean, obviously you have more takes and there's different parameters when you're filming for TV versus like live versus uh, something like a movie. Uh, but working with the stunt choreographer, you, you can tell like it's the same counting in a way, right? So five, six, seven, like choreography based on counts and timing, uh, a lot of flow. And I'm excited because I think she'll be better after this experience. I think she will be better, whatever that is, whether it's dance or, or martial arts and set, any physical activity, I think she's not going to go into, I hope, going to go into with a lot more confidence. Absolutely. And make this, it, it will, I promise you, I used to dance not nearly as good as anybody on the show ever, but the, the physicality and the um, muscle focus and the isolations and all of that in dance that you have to do is, it'll help. I agree with you, Val. It'll help. <laughs> Thank you both so much for taking yeah. the time to chat with me today. Thank you. Thank you.